guys. This is a true story of how TikTok got me fired. Um, we've got clips of video footage from you at work. We more or less have the zero tolerance policy with that, and we will have to let you go. How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? Good afternoon, my Flair family. Welcome to another episode of The Best Shift Ever. If you're new here, my name is Shay, and today we're gonna embark on another great day at work. Noah Tepperberg's birthday and Steve A.O. playing at the Dream Highlight Hotel. Your man right here is guest bartending. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Double bump the bell. You want to make sure you're notified every single time we're in another place in the world doing another crazy adventure like Hollywood Boulevard. Before any shift, it's important to have your daily nutrients. That's why we're going to go to the Body Energy Club and get a Gaines Bowl. They flew me a game for Gains bowl, double protein. Acai bowl with double protein. It's fantastic. The only problem with this, they give me this little ass spoon. How do you expect me to pound this food before my ship? They only give me 30 minutes for lunch. I got this little ass spoon in this acai bowl. Man, it's cold, it's hurting my teeth, but it's so good. Let's get this money. Up. We are on the bar ready to get this day started. It's gonna be crazy as the sun sets right behind me. Shades come down and the party gets started. We're gonna make a couple cocktails, have a little fun, keep hanging out with us. We got a ticket to go. What do we got here? Chili Paloma, let's get it. starting to show up at the bar. We're getting the dinner crowd out. The party crowd is coming in. I'm glad you can be with us. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you better do it right now. Hit that subscribe button. It's right down there or right up there or right down there in one of those corners. Hit it. Check it out because we do something crazy every time. You never know what you're going to get on this channel. Like tonight, Steve Aoki performing live in Los Angeles. Let's go. Yeah. Quick change, I feel like I'm breaking into my own job. So about two months ago, while I was working for the group at the grill on top of the Dream Hotel, I got the group kind of blew me off for the next three weeks and said that you know, I needed to come in and have an in-person conversation with the HR team before my first shift back. And I said, I think that's kind of ridiculous. Can we just do it over a phone call or a Zoom call? 
because so two months went by and they kind of blew off my emails and uh, we made appointments through email to jump on a phone call and uh, organize a meeting with the general manager all these things and they just kept missing the meeting so finally they're supposed to call me at one o'clock and as you can see it's 105 and once again they still haven't lived up to their end of the bargain so we'll give them a, a few more minutes and see if they actually call one eternity later. Shay, Frida, how are you? Um, um, I, I'll make this quick because I, I know we've been playing back and forth, playing phone tie, trying to get each, trying to get a hold of each other. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, okay. Um, it was brought to my attention, and then uh, it was brought to our attention rather. Um, we've got clips of video footage from you at work, um, promoting your business. Um, I know that you're a talented bartender and you do the flair thing. And uh, we were seeing video on your, I think, believe it was TikTok, um, where a more or less had guests um, in view, had employees in view, and uh, without their consent. Tito's soda. That's an easy one. Let's do it. That's it. Throw a lime on it. And you're done. And uh, with our policy, our company policy, it is a conflict of interest to do that. And uh, unfortunately, I know we've been trying to get a uh, hold of you to have a conversation about it, but we more or less have a zero tolerance policy with that, and we will have to let you go. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't quite understand that scene as how when, when I hired the, the new employee handbook, it said really specifically that we are required to do social media. I'm very aware that my social media is more professional than everyone else on the staff. How does well, that not, say, how does that not fit into the marketing package. program that, um, you're, that you're asking me to do on day one? Explain that to me. No, it's not, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not entirely true. The promotion that we do for social media is for outreach, like when we get flyers out and we more or less send uh, emails like, hey, Tao cares this and or flyer for this promotion, i.e. Um, highlight, uh, you know, club nights and whatnot. That you can totally, by all means, feel free to post on your social media platform. But taking video footage of guests, video footage of staff members, is, and that's where it's like a, a zero, to zero tolerance policy with that, and that's just not allowed because you don't have the consent to put them on. Apparently I got let go from t for doing TikTok two months after I had been there. I haven't worked for the company for two months. Just one more thing that the t group just finds any excuse to not take care of their people. So sad. On to the next.